with 2020's highly successful Kickstarter spawn finally hitting mailboxes and the forthcoming 12-inch Commando spawn from the Mortal Kombat 11 video game, I thought, hey, you know what, why not take a look back at 2016 and 2017's McFarlane Toys Color Top series featuring Spawn and Commando Spawn under the Spawn Rebirth tagline. All the Spawn action you can handle, let's check it out now. America's number one comic book thanks to you. So I started this company to make the toys that you asked for. Spawn Violator. I hear the competition's <laughs> fine around. They could be any place. They're cool. Awesome. Tremor. Overkill. Medieval Spawn. The and they come with comics. Nice toys, kids. Nice try, guys. Spawn from Todd Toys. We're out to plaster the competition. <laughs> Now, in recent years, before the success of the Kickstarter, McFarlane Toys had really taken a departure from the actual character of Spawn and had moved into The Walking Dead and other video game and sports franchises. So I largely had kind of fallen to the wayside for in terms of what McFarlane Toys was making. But with the color tops, they reintroduced Spawn to the action figure lineup with their Blue series, and in pure McFarlane fashion, of course, variants, one being a Toys R Us exclusive, more of the open mouth hamburger head, which unfortunately I never saw, I even had the classic costume, very cool, but upon release, they actually kind of switched it up, he no longer had the screaming head, it was more of a skeletal hamburger head, which was cool as well. Although one thing I wanna point out is that when I found this figure at retail, not knowing much about it, on the back side it said nine new figures, and because it was mainly aimed at Spawn on the back, I was thinking, wow, there's gonna be nine new Spawn figures? That's crazy, like all the villains or various Spawn incarnations, whatnot. Nope, it's just the collection of different characters, much like McFarlane's gold label that they're doing now. But with this new Spawn figure, you got a really nice sculpt out of him. He had all the big vacuum cleaner weapons you could handle, gorgeous red Spawn cape, and of course, the more traditional, more recent Spawn costume. In looking at the figure, he did come with a stand, much as most McFarlane toys these days do. It wasn't much, it was a bit of a platformy type stand, very hollow underneath. And it did fit the peg hole at the bottom, which worked and didn't work, but it wasn't heavy enough to really support him. And plus the peg hole, you kind of had to really wedge it in there, to be quite honest with you. These were great to have again after going so long without having new spawn figures. However, they were okay. And for me, being used to a certain way for spawn figures. I thought there would be a little bit more articulation. We'll be completely honest, but the sculpt is there, the design is there, and that is where McFarlane Toys really shines. I mean, look at the cape on this thing. Love the dry bush, the black, everything on it. It looks fantastic, and so does Spawn. Now, he does have some articulation. It is basically a rotation in the hands, and elbows and whatnot, but look at that weapon right there. What even is that? I guess it's a rocket launcher space gun, whatever. If this gun exists, well, that's amazing. <laughs> but as you can see, yeah, minimal articulation, more of the statue, but things that we were definitely used to with spawn figures. And you can change up the pose of this guy. He's even got a little teeny tiny bit in the head, but enough to kind of change up the positioning and get some different character looks out of him. Now, in some instances, yeah, it does look like there are some cuts to the joints, but I think it's just where they are just attaching because mine definitely doesn't move. But my arm does, and you can twist the wrist and move the gun. Great wash on it. You can see all the bullets inside are painted. All the little nuances, all the little details. They really stepped it up in terms of weapons, especially in terms of other companies producing weapons. That was a lot of paint, but he's got all the spikes. He's got all the pouches. He doesn't have much else articulation wise. These are a little bit rubbery up here. These are more 
Plastic, I feel like if you drop this guy, yeah, you'll definitely break something off on him. So just be careful. But like I said, when you kind of get the stand working for you, he is good. Although sometimes he could be incredibly top heavy and fall forward. And of course, shortly thereafter, they released in 2017, the Commando Spawn, which again, looks fantastic. Very cool throwback to the packaging and whatnot. And of course, in the most traditional Todd McFarlane way about doing stuff, there was a variant, the Scorched Earth Bronze variant. So for all you Batman, Joker, Arkham Asylum things, yeah, it's not the first time they've done bronze, gold, necroplasm, what have you. But this again, a figure... I have gotten several times, let's say the look, but this was a pre-posed commando spawn and it just really called out. You know, it's the sculpting design, the paint, it's spawn with giant weapons. He's got the bandana around him. It just looks cool and it stands well. And yeah, you can switch up the positioning of the hands. It did have very minimal articulation. To be honest, for a collector like me, this is ideal. Yeah, he came with a stand as well. Now kind of resembling more modern McFarlane toys, DC Multiverse, what have you. You can see all the information on the bottom. Bigger peg holes, so it had no problem fitting, but it was very sturdy for this guy. So that definitely helped because he is more in that crouch position, but he has great paint all over him. He's got the spikes, the boots, the bandana, weapons for days, grenades, pouches. Everything is painted on this guy. There is no shortcuts that, yeah, some of the more modern McFarlane toys have kind of taken, especially with DC Multiverse and some of the new spawn figures like the blue Mandarin spawn. But this guy rocks except for when you kind of start moving around. I'll be quite honest with you. Just in taking him out of the packaging, he has incredibly loose hand joints. And I don't know why. It seems to be something that kind of affected a lot of people's figures, not just mine. Very minimal head rotation, if at all. We'll just say it kind of moves around. His belt ammo bandolier, you can move that around. He has swivel in the arms, kind of in the elbow but his wrists were incredibly loose and still are to this day. Now, it does hold the weapons fine. They're not falling out, but it's when you start to move them around, yeah, you really take notice. The knee had articulation, in fact, on both sides. And again, much like the cuts on the other figure, it does look like his legs move, but they don't at the thigh, just at the knees. But the weapons, the weathering, everything on this guy looks fantastic. I love the tattered look of the scarf fills in for Spawn's big huge cape that he usually has. It has that element of red and I love the boot wraps, all the different spikes. See again, you can have the knees. So you can put him in other poses. He really is sculpted to be looking through the scope of his gun, holding it in two hands. But it's when you really achieve that pose, even though it's pre-posed, it still does a darn good job of just being sexy. And that is exactly what you want in a Spawn figure. Now, with the recent 2020 Spawn, or you want to say the 2002 10th Anniversary Spawn, heck, even the new Mandarin Blue Spawn, they are definitely improving on articulation. And even to go back as far as the classic covers, yeah, we've seen this spawn before, and I knew that exactly when I picked it up. I go, you know what? I have this spawn, but it's the fun of the spawn figure, the character that makes these toys what they are. I mean, you could go back to, like, say, the Toy Biz era of McFarlane toys. Yeah, very basic articulation with the quote-unquote swing open cape, much like the Kickstarter one. That is coming, right? Or you could just go the traditional static pose where he just looks good, big flowing red cape, and that really is the look for spawn. It's pre-posed, but yeah, it works for as many spawns as they have put out. Now, the upcoming 12-inch Mortal Kombat 11 spawn, Commando spawn, one of the different type skins for the video game, looks fantastic. Minimally articulated, much as these are, but you can see the detail. You can see the little necroplasm effect. You can see that he comes with a gun. So there will be articulation to this. It just won't be as much as I think a lot of people wish and hope for spawn figures. Although, 
there are plenty of multi-articulated spawns, including ones that they have teased that are forthcoming. We don't know much about these. We just know that, yeah, they're working on something. So definitely get excited. But the best part about these old spawns is that if you've collected the villains, even Marvel Legends, let's say when they got Marvel's Angela, yeah, you could put her with them from Clown to Violator, Jason Wynn. I mean, it doesn't matter. It's all supposed to be fun and look good and be eye candy for your shelf. And yeah, to reiterate, it's not their first foray into articulation or lack thereof. So in that sense, I was super stoked to get these spawn figures after such a long hiatus. And if I ever get the chance, yeah, I'd like to get the variants, of course, but I never saw them and I didn't really think too much of it. I was too busy being happy with these ones. But you know that in true McFarland fashion, if more spawn figures do come about, there will always be variants. Hamburger heads, shoelace heads, screaming hit what have you seen the kickstarter you know it's coming but i am curious to know what you guys think about these two color top spawn figures do you have them do you need to get them and comment below let me know let's talk everything spawn and have you got kickstarter spawn as of this video in terms of when you see this no i have not gotten mine but a lot of people have and i'm so jealous but i'm gonna leave you guys with that as always drink some great coffee eat some great food but most importantly remember when it comes to spawn figures there are multi-articulated spawns, there are less articulated spawns, there's ones right in the middle, but they all have a dang sexy cape to them, don't they? And when they do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.